everyone, welcome back to Live Darts. We're here at the City West in Dublin and we've got Hollywood Chris Dovey. Chris, have you had time to reflect on what you achieved winning your first round game? Yeah, I've, uh, I've had a day off yesterday and uh, it was just nice to just chill out after the win on, on the first night. What was it like playing in here? Because obviously it's the first time you've been here, it's a, it's a new format. What was that like and was that tough mentally to get your head around everything? Yeah, definitely. I've, uh, I've played in local leagues, as I said in the previous interview, where uh, we double off, so that pretty much helped us uh, go into this competition. And uh, no, I felt the format was all right, even even though it was a tough format being first or two, you had to get off to a good start. But uh, no, I felt it went all right. Obviously, as well, looking at it, this is all free money for you, isn't it? In terms of you haven't been here before, so a lot's been made of people losing money on their rankings. Where this is like just a free shot. Yeah, you. that's it. You've got to make your money up in these kind of competitions when you're not defending. So. Uh, as long as you make it up in other competitions where you haven't done so well or you haven't played in them, uh, it, it's just going to add up the arrogance. As Gary Anderson up next, obviously at the Worlds, when you played him, you had chances. Are you looking forward to another crack at him? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you want to play with people like Gary all the time. Um, but yeah, after after the nightmare at the Worlds when I missed a few darts at the double, and. Yeah, well, I would love another crack and I can't wait to get started at night. Is it a good time to play Gary right now? Because we all know his game will always be there, but maybe in terms of match practice, it's not quite there. Well, he's played in the last few pro tours and I think he's had like something like 105 and a 99 or maybe 100 average and he's actually playing all right. He's just bumping into the wrong people at the right at the wrong time. and. Uh, yeah, hopefully it goes like that tonight as well. Um, I'm, I'm playing well, I'm feeling confident, so why not? Same game plan, 32 to 57? Yeah, definitely. I, I thought I always feel, I went down, watched uh, a few games last night and I seen Glenn was going for 32 to 20s and he was struggling on the 20s, so I thought, I kept on saying to him, I said, um, I'll, that's why I always go for the 57 after the 16s, you're already down there. It's not much of a change and then we'll, we'll just go to the 20s afterwards. We know you're quite good friends with Glenn, that's some great banner on social media. Are you going to have a chat with him and tell him he should be making the same switch? Well, we, had, we actually spoke about it before the competition started. I was telling him what to do and he was in whether two minds what to do himself. But uh, he made that, he might make the change next to who knows. As well, just speak staying in, up in the, the north. Caleb Bridge, your good mate, has finally got his tour card and doesn't have to go to Q School. I know you again on Twitter, you had some good back with him. Are you pleased for him? Yeah, definitely. It's about time he's, he's been unlucky the last couple of years. He's, he's playing some great stuff. And uh, no, it's, it's nice to see another lad from Bedlington do well. And he's got all the talent in the world. Going back to the Grand Prix, if you can get over Gary, do you then have one eye on winning the title? Yeah, why not? you just got to take it game by game. Uh, Gary's. A tough opponent, he's probably one, maybe his second or third favourite still in the competition, even though he hasn't played much. And uh, like I say, you've got to take it game by game, you can't think of the next stop. Uh, but no, if I get past Gary, I've got a good chance. Is it nice for yourself as well, mate, that you're starting to fulfil that potential? Because we've always known the name Chris Dobie for a long, long time, but you obviously haven't been here before, and there's other top tournaments that you've missed. Now you're in them, does it feel like you're part of the professional circuit properly almost? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's not nice when you're just watching it at home and you don't qualify this, qualify for that. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've played in the majority of them now and it is nice. It's, it feels more that I'm part of the PDC and uh, hopefully it just keeps continuing. I know that the top 32 meant a lot to you. What was that like when you finally broke into that for the first time? <laughs> it was it was just a weight off my shoulders. I I had been sat thirty three for almost a year and a half maybe, and it was just killing us. I'm thinking just one break, one good run, and I got to that uh, point where I made it in the top thirty two. And I haven't looked back. I'm hopefully just going up. We saw it in the Euro Tour when it finally happened, and the game you won, you were outstanding. And then the next one, it didn't quite happen. Was that sort of like an adrenaline release where you? Because obviously you said that you knew what you needed to do. Was that like, oh, then you really struggled to get up for that game? Yeah, you could say that. Um, I just, like I say, I don't know what it is. Uh, I just go out, I practice the same in every other game. So I'd, I, it might have been a mind thing, but uh, God knows. Uh, I just, I'm just over the moon to still be up there. Now you're in the top 32. The top 16 isn't that far away in terms of 
people defending money and you're not, like we said earlier. So in terms of between now and Ali Pali, is the top 16 realistic or are you just trying to consolidate yourself in the 32? Yeah, just keep myself in the 32. I think it'll be too big a push 16 for the end of the year, but uh, top 20, I've actually looked at a couple of the rankings this morning and um, I'm not that far away to be fair, so I'll have a few solid ones, do well, just take it as it is and hopefully shoot up. Who knows, top 16 could happen. I'd say there's lots of TV tournaments on the horizon between now and the world, so there's plenty of ranking points, money to be had. Yeah, um, it's uh, there's still the Euros, the Players' Finals, there's a couple of Players' Championships left. We've got the Grand Slam Qualifier, which is a ranking competition now, and uh, obviously the World Championships, it's it's a massive event of the year. And, uh, like I said, I've been playing some good stuff and I'm normally all right near the end of the year, so hopefully hopefully I'll keep performing. Grand Slam, a big one for you, because that's sort of like the tournament where you really broke into the public eye, isn't it? Back, was it two, three years ago now? Yeah, three years ago, I think, yeah. But um, yeah, I haven't played in it since. That was the only time I've played in it and got to the quarter final, so I think it was the first year it started as a ranking competition as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's one of those competitions that suits me as well you get three games on the tv guaranteed you're in a group and uh it was a great experience and that's probably one of the best competitions i've played in for for that as well when you look back on what you achieved this year is there a standout so far um not really uh the only standout for me is the experience in the premier league uh, that was a big thing for me playing in my home area and in front of my home fans, it was it was an absolute surreal feeling, and I don't think I'll ever get a get up or get a feeling like that again. To be fair, e even if I do play in the Premier League, I don't think it'll it'll quite be like what it was for the first time playing in front of your home fans. That was quite unique, obviously, because we spoke up in Newcastle with the media day, and that was the first Premier League of the season, and the contenders was all very new. So when you look back at that, is it? A proud moment, or just to achieve what you did then? Oh, definitely. It's a, without a doubt, it's a proud moment. Uh, I still put that top of the list. Whether I got to the last sixteen of the worlds or the quarters of the Grand Slam, the Premier League for me was the the key moment. To play in front of my home fans and everybody there, I knew the majority of them, and uh, yeah, it was a great feeling. Especially only I am. Um, I think I had less than a week to prepare for it as well when I got the phone call. So it was, a, it was a great feeling. So Barry's, Barry's hinted the contenders will be coming back in some form in 2020. Would you like to be part of that again? Yeah, 100%. Um, after experience that, you, you always want to be in it. So if there's the continue contenders there, then why not? I, I would love a crack at it. But uh, I'm just going to keep performing on stage and uh, hopefully do the same on the floor. And who knows, I might get selected. The progression of your game as well. Would you maybe like to get a World Series event next year, just just to continue that um, progression of your career? Yeah, definitely. Um, everybody wants a World Series crack, but uh, you've you've got to earn it. And um, for me, to be fair, I'm not being big headed. I, I have played well in parts, but I haven't been consistent enough to uh, earn a place. I don't think, uh, and that's why I'm not up there. So uh, I've got to start performing a lot more, and then hopefully get a shot at it. How did you get that consistency then? Because that's quite a word that's used quite a lot as a darts player, but they say, yeah, I've played well, but not consistently enough. How do you change that from being brilliant, not so, back to just consistently at that level? I don't, I don't know, really. Um, I just, if, if I'm not, if I'm a bit inconsistent, I'll put an extra hour or two hours in here and there. But, um, no, nah, it, it's hard to describe how, how to be consistent or, or not, because... Um, Sometimes on the floor, you practice less, and you're banging in 105s, 107s, continuous, and uh, it, it is hard to explain, to be fair, because you, you could practice and practice and practice, and only average 90, and it, it's a funny game, darts, but uh, no, I'll, I'll be putting an extra few hours practicing. Chris, many thanks for joining us here at the City West. I'm going to shoot all the very best tonight against Gary Anderson, mate. Absolutely Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Thank you.